Hey, what's up everybody? Infinite PC Gaming here, back with another one. Finally, Resident Evil 7 has come out, and it is a pretty damn good game. I'll tell you, it's a lot better than that Outlast 2 demo that I played about a month ago. And, uh, but we won't get into that. Today we're going to be testing the game out on the Intel i7-7700K along with my Fury X, both at stock clocks, 1080p, 1440p, and 4K. And I'm going to be testing the game with Shadow Cache on and off. And the difference is uh, it's pretty big, so let's get into these benchmarks. Alright, so as you can see, a shadow cache on and off is a huge difference in FPS. In 1080p, 13.8%, 1440, 14.9%, and 4K, 10.8%. Seems like this uh, shadow cache is a problem for any video card that has up to 4 gigabytes of VRAM. So, since obviously Fury X only has 4, I decided to turn it off and... The uh, performance is definitely well worth it. I didn't notice any shadow flickering or pop-ins while I was playing the game while this option was off, so might as well just leave it off until Capcom comes out with a, a fix for it. There's not much left to say about this game other than the fact that it runs pretty damn good. Um, it has a occasional dips here and there that's been from, a lot of people have been reporting, um, you know, myself and other professional reviewers. Like I said, other than that, the game is running good, and I'd say Capcom did a pretty damn good job of porting it over, though I do wish that they had some high-res textures in here, because if you go close up to some of these, you know, like the wood and on the doors or anywhere else in the game, it's just, it's a blurry mess, and it kind of, it might be a little bit, it might be nitpicking, but it kind of takes away from the, uh, the immersion, I guess you could say. So, that's gonna wrap this one up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff. See you in the next one. Peace.
before dinner was done? Get nailed. 